It's Monday, April 17th, coming up live on The View. Desperate Housewives star Eva Longoria is telling the ladies why she's shedding the lingerie and strapping on a pistol for her latest big screen role. It's the countdown to the daytime Emmy, so General Hospital's Emmy... What is all this crap about me not getting help? Look, a brand new baby needs to bond with its mother. The church knows it, science knows it, nature knows it. We have the money. What is wrong with getting a little help? Then I'll be able to relax once in a while and I'll be able to be a better mother. You want to be a better mother? Do what my mama did. Make sacrifices. My mama worked her fingers to the bone for me. That's what put her in an early grave. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But then she adds something. She says that she got hit by a car or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but picking up baby is going just as you'd expect on Desperate Housewives. But Eva Longoria is showing off a very unexpected side. She has a new movie called The Sentinel. Please welcome back Eva Longoria. <laughs> My number one performer on my team, on just your so you know. Basketball? Mm -hmm. He was. Good. Her, her man, Tony, her yeah. man yeah. Tony Parker, was number one. <laughs> that is her <laughs> Easter dress. It's my Easter dress. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it looked great in church. <laughs> <laughs> so before we talk about Sentinel, which you do, by the way, with Michael Douglas, what'd you do uh, Easter? Oh, uh, well, I was here yesterday in New York, and it was a beautiful day. We went to Central Park. Tony. But... No, Tony's. Uh, Tony's in San Antonio. We actually celebrated Easter Friday because we both had to leave out of town. He had to go to Minnesota for a game. And um, in, in Mexican culture, we do um, cascarones. Do you guys know what that is? No. You fill the e you color the eggs and you fill them with confetti and then you tape it shut or whatever. And that's what you hide and all the kids run and then you grab all the eggs and that's the point is you have more ammunition. So you <laughs> run and you crack it on everybody's head. So you just run around and like crack crack eggs. <laughs> oh, on that's, that's, that's fun. fun. That's yeah. I thought everybody did that till like no. you guys. No. I was backstage going yeah. And they're like yeah what? we never heard of that. We <laughs> Tony. And Tony then after, the after the concussion what happens? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little hard. So I told uh, Tony's family about it, and they're from France. And so they were like, yeah, we never done it. So Tony's like, let's do it. So I bought just two dozens, because it was just me, Tony, and his brother, and a friend of his. And so his mom hid, hid the 24 eggs. And so we, were, we went out to find them, and we couldn't find any of them. She hid them so, so well. well. <laughs> hard work. What a horrible Easter egg. found like six. Yeah. And so then you don't remember where so, you've hidden Tony's them. Tony's brother was so upset, he was like, I'm not playing. And he runs inside. <laughs> does, does your mother in law speak French? Or your yeah. future mother in law, I take it, right? She, yes, she speaks French. She speak, do you? I'm learning. Oh. Yes. She doesn't speak English? No, no, she speaks oh, English. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's from Amsterdam. Oh, wow. Well, I see. Yeah. How cool is She's that? She's Dutch, actually. That's so fun. there's Dutch, there's English, there's Spanish, there's what, whatever. Uh, yeah. no, the United Nations. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we talked about the baby, the, these newborn babies that are like, what, eight weeks old? Oh, on the show? On the show. Yes. How many are there? Um, my baby's played by five babies. Wow. Yeah, wow. A set of triplets and a set of twins. So one of them, uh, one, the triplets, they're eight weeks. Now they're probably ten, but they were eight weeks, and they were just tiny. Oh, so, so tiny. When you, the worst mother, <laughs> kidnapping this baby and then palming her off on the mate, when you <laughs> hold this little teeny weeny thing, how mm -hmm. do you feel? Oh, I love it. I mean, I've been around babies my whole life. I have mm -hmm. two nieces, and it's not nothing. It's not, it's not anything new. Barbara, what are you getting at? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I guess what I want to know is, are you feeling the urge, is what I was getting oh, <laughs> I, was, I, I heard you on another show say that this part is, the sentinel part is closer to the real Ava Longoria yeah. than the Desperate Housewives. Yeah, so yeah. you probably do like babies, and you're not, you know, yeah. you must be... Uh, I, lo I yeah. love, I love. Actually, yeah. Mark Cherry said that he would write if any of you wanted to get pregnant. Yep. Yeah. Um, he said that he would write those pregnancies into yeah. the script. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ask her what she's getting at. He was like looking like, and you can go to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cherry right? Do you are you a little bit of a big mouth? Can't hold a secret. I or? am. I am. I, I'm a big mouth. Not with not with like you guys. Not yeah. with the press, but with each other and the storylines. And mm. I'll be like, oh, Felicity, I know what's happening with you. And she doesn't want to know. She doesn't like oh. to know. Oh, really? I do. Um, I don't think Marsha likes to know either. I can't remember. Why don't they want to know? 
Because they'd rather play, the, I guess, the truth of it. Oh. Where I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of know. the truth of it, that is exactly leading me into the Sentinel. Oh, yeah. Because I had a chance to see it ahead of time. I love this. You play a rookie Secret Service agent who is assigned to, attack, uh, to protect the president and the first lady. But your partner, Kiefer Sutherland, isn't impressed during your first meeting. I love this scene. Check it out. <laughs> agent Breckenridge, Jill Marin, sir. Your secretary said I could come in. Secretary, you're late. <laughs> it's a minute past. Yeah, and that makes you late. Right, sorry. Hispanic woman, four languages, computer skills, second in your class at the academy. Well, aren't you the recruiting poster? Resumes don't mean a lot to me, and they mean absolutely nothing on the street. Any other supportive advice before we get to know each other? I want to find some more appropriate. Oh, I know what the next line is. Because I just said it. It's funny. I was thinking that they were going to do it. No, but this is your first big movie. This is your first movie. Wait, you have two of the hottest men, Michael Douglas as, and Kiefer Sutherland? Kiefer, yeah. Okay, how did you make it with all that testosterone on the set? Okay. It was definitely a change from all the estrogen on my set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was fun. They were great. You know, I grew up as a tomboy, and so for me, it was fitting in with the guys was really easy. But I, I proved myself really early. You know, we had the Secret Service training. Right. And Target practice. Yes. Yes. I heard you're great with a gun. I am. Yeah. Yes, and I outshot Michael and Kiefer at the firing range, and they were really upset. But that was like first day of training, so they kind ah. of just respected me from then on. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> like on, on day one, you outshot them? Yeah, well, day two. It was day two. So, so with training, you could just whoop their butts. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No question about <laughs> yeah. it. Did you find making a movie easier or harder? Oh, my God, it was like a vacation. It was vac compared oh, to a strip Compared to Desperate Housewives. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Well, Desperate Housewives, we shoot, we shoot like a movie a week. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of pages. Mm -hmm. It's really fast. Um, do you I memorize mean, everything, or do you have it written on the back of your hand? No, you memorize everything. Uh, yeah. Everything. And, uh, and with the movie, you know, it takes three months to shoot. I was in my trailer all the time. Mm. Plus, I'm not, like, the star in the movie. Michael was on set most of the time. So. Yeah, yeah, but you are the female yeah. lead, and I'm telling you, and it was a very strenuous part, you guys. <laughs> She's running and jumping and shooting and going around the corner and making sure the president <laughs> is okay <laughs> and pushing his down. I mean, his head down. I loved it. I, <laughs> you can tell I saw the movie. Kim Bessinger. <laughs> Yes. Hard to get this part, which is so, you know, very different from, right. from, no, from Gabrielle. No, before Desperate Housewives, this is what I always played. I always played the cop. I always played the lawyer. I always played mm. the detective. So Desperate Housewives was a stretch for me. Right. This is more coming back to, to really what... Huh? Yeah, kind I'm of a tomboy. tomboy. Yeah, I'm this is Jill Marin's exactly who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about Tony again because I mean, he was a great player with the San Antonio Spurs, but you said he's the most um, unstereotypical athlete that right. you've ever met. What do you mean? I don't I don't know. I don't remember saying that. <laughs> well, you don't. Well, no, somebody said you said that, that he's not the typical no, athlete. Uh, you know, he's just not a typical guy. He's just very sweet and romantic and, um, <laughs> but no, he's just, you know, he's, he's just different in so many ways. I don't know if it's because he's European. I don't know if he's, that he's younger. Um, is that I, good? It's great. Like more romantic, younger men are more romantic? I don't, I don't think I would but make that so general young. assumption. You're uh -huh. so young. How, what is he, a teenager? I'm, I mean, I'm 31. Oh, you are? Yeah. You don't look it. Yeah. You look 21. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, yes, yeah. indeed. Thank you. Well, Our love to Tony oh, also. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, you know, we're always delighted to have you here, and now we have a new movie to watch, and, and uh, you're just such a pleasure. You're Aww. such a cute person. <laughs> Our thanks to Ava. You are. <laughs> Our thanks to Ava Longoria. We want to tell you that The Sentinel is in theaters this Friday, and Desperate Housewives, of course, is Sunday nights at 9 p.m. Aren't we lucky? Right here on ABC. We'll be right back.